The Tangenetic Podcast is aimed at a mature audience. It contains themes that are not appropriate for all listeners. Please note that we're not experts and just three guys are talking about crap that interests us. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to the Tangenetic Podcast. I'm Seth and as always with me is John Doe and Swoosh. Hello. G'day. And, uh, well, the big thing from uh, last week was we had Gamescom happen, and we got a lot of trailers, so we're going to run through it all and tell you what we think. I will also yeah, post yeah. the video we're using to do this in the show notes, so you can follow along if you so desire. So, first thing on the list was Dead Island 2, back again with a new trailer. I mean, like, I enjoyed the original Dead Island, but that was how long ago now? A long time. If you give well, me a this second, is what I can it's find third out. go around, so it should be Dead Island Two tries again. I mean, technically, Dead Island Two is the third Dead Island game. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, the, fucking you know, naming conventions, man. <laughs> uh, was Every released time. back in 2011. <laughs> was when Dead Island came out, and I remember that was pretty fun. We spent a lot of time like playing that one. I think. Oh, I had a lot of fun with it. I, I was living in a share house at the time, and we all bought a copy. Um, yeah. And we did a lot of real dumb shit. Like, we found out that you could get one of the utes, the, the cars, into areas where you weren't supposed to, and the game just didn't understand what to do with it. Hmm? So, if you got it down onto the beach, and you drove it into the water, it would just keep driving out until it was, like, way underwater, <laughs> because the game wasn't programmed to handle what happens if the vehicle's underwater. Yeah. You were never supposed to get the car out there. I mean, like, the trailer looks fun, but it's all, like, pre-rendered stuff, so yeah, I'm always no wary. Yeah, in-game. I, look, I'm pretty yeah. sure this trailer's just to announce that, yes, we've resurrected it for a third time. I think it's three, I sw- I'm pretty sure they're on their third developer trying to do Dead Island 2. I mean, they're definitely ramping up the gore in this one. Like the the guy throws a um a shelf down on one of the zombies and just kind of explodes like a water balloon. Yeah, they yeah. kind of did that in the original, and you like cut heads off and shit. Yeah, it's not that weird. As long as I still have the weird funky crafting system for weapons, I'm okay with that. Like I feel like that they have to. Yeah, that's kind um, of like a staple for most like uh, zombie games now. It's like, all right, you're killing zombies. We're gonna give you weird and creative things to do it with yeah i mean the one thing i thought was weird um was you know in the trailer it's it's a it's a black guy uh Mm. is the main character in the trailer and i was immediately like but it's not sam b (laughs) do not have sam b for those who don't know that was the main character one of the main player characters from the first one who also is the guy who sings the theme song which is really good uh who do you voodoo is actually a really good track yeah um, i would it did be, have some really good songs i mean i know that the original was done by i think it was Techland, mm. and they may ho- hold the rights to it but like i would love it if in dead island 2 somewhere who do you voodoo plays that would be pretty good that would make me happy Okay, so next one, well, we actually, like, this wasn't a trailer, this was a gameplay trailer for the Callisto Protocol, and yeah. I'm super excited for this one. I'm actually kind of keen, uh, mostly because, like, having played a few other games, what was the, the one recently? Control, they had the really smooth telekinetic powers. Mm, yeah. I'm getting the same That's kind so of vibe cool. from this, and I'm like, ooh, okay, I'm okay with this. This is going to be fun. Well, I mean, like... I don't understand how it works in this one because he seems to grab some random enemies and then throw them into a big meat grinder and it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, this is from the guys who made Dead Space and this thing's gory as heck. There's a bit where, like, he shoots some limbs off a monster and then it seems to, like, just burst out of itself and rip its flesh off and it's some other horrific monstrosity. Weird tentacle mass inside. Uh, it's it, fucking If good. you look at the trailer of this... You don't need any prompting to say this was from the developer of Dead Space, like I know, from yeah. the health bar on the back of the neck to the over the shoulder view to taking the limbs off. Everything it is is cut copy fucking Dead Space. Yeah, and I love it. Like it's, I'm keen, like surprisingly keen. 
Like, the only thing they haven't done that's very Dead Space is you can see the main character's face. That's it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, but the main seems, thing I is think... they're getting away from the whole the standardized um, zombie thing because he blows a thing's head off at one point and it's still going. Like, yeah, I mean, and then a couple of seconds later, it grows fucking tentacles where its head was and yeah. Yeah. pretty much levels up. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. I mean, like, that's uh, like the necromorphs in dead space do yeah. similar things like mm. you shoot their head off and then they just swing more wildly one could argue mm. they're more dangerous yeah they, you take its head off and tentacles come out and if you don't kill it straight away it then rips off its own arms to sprout bigger arms yeah, like, yeah. It, it so it's, self mutilates to get bigger that's like fucking wild <laughs> yeah but if this is like the actual gameplay that we get then I'll be quite happy Look, it's heavily canned, so they clearly wanted to show off him, like, picking people up and throwing them, and then, you know, he stops shooting this monster to let it do its transformation, because, you know, it's fucking cool and people want to see it. Um, But, like, if it's even half of this, it'll be like, oh, this is going to be a good time. Yeah, we're going to have some fun with this one, I think. Uh, Next game, I don't think we will have that much fun with, which is Sonic Frontiers. (laughs) I'm going to play it primarily because I want to see how badly they screw the dog on this one. Uh, but also, this um, trailer did resonate me with like with one thing where there's like that giant column mm. with a big red button, and Sonic's like, "Oh, if you touch this, everything goes wrong." It's like, I'm gonna touch it. Yeah. So if he touches the thing, it's like, yeah, I I do the exact same thing. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Well, yeah. I watched this. I was telling Swish before, like. I watched it and I thought, why does Sonic Naruto run? And then I looked at it and thought about it. Sonic came out in bloody 90 or 1990 and 91 and Naruto came out in 2000. So why the fuck does Naruto Sonic run? <laughs> <laughs> he's got a point. Yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he's out of line, but he's right. Uh, but like, I might give this a shot. Not going to lie. It, it might bring me in. The weird thing I think for me is... They have a, that new mechanic where he runs around and leaves a trail behind him, and if you complete it, it seems to do stuff. So it's very Pokemon Rangers kind of thing for my in my brain. Look, man, I, look, the, my biggest problem, and it's gonna always be a problem for me, is Sonic doesn't for me work nearly as well in full 3D. Yeah, no. You lock him to a 2D plane; those games fucking slap. They Sonic do. Mania was so good. They got fans in, they let fans make the level, they let fans make the game, and guess what? It absolutely rules. And they keep not learning that lesson, that Sonic works in 2D. The weird thing is they always want to make him do rail grinding. Like, they don't want him to run anymore. They want him to be a skater for some strange reason. Yeah. And, like, watching this, there's some sections where, like, you're you're pretty much locked into a straight line where you're going to pick your paths, or it's Hmm. like... 2.5D where it's like it's 2D but we've got a 3D world I I don't know I I've had hopes for Sonic before and they're that fucking low now it yeah. can only dig up we've been really burnt much. a lot and I mostly it's more of a curiosity at this point I want to see just how much the budget went to the game and how much went to hookers and blow this time because last time it got a bit weird yeah well, all they need to do is put a character created and make your own fucking Sonic and oh they'd sell so many the copies fanboy scream they, they <laughs> already did that yeah but do it again <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do it better like with 3D they'll love it um, but the next game after that I'm actually rather keen for is <sighs> Lies of Pi it's just Lies, Lies of, of P sorry my, my brain just mixed that with that weird movie um, but I mean Lies like it looks Piddle. fucking dope like I mean steampunk bloodborne with pinocchio vibes okay i mean i mean let's do it yeah i i'm already a massive slut for steampunk but this is chicks more box and more boxes and it's like yep i'm in done this sounds like fun i'm going to suck at this game but i'm going to play the shit out of it i mean just the the victoria art style the grimy streets all the mm. mechanical stuff it it just looks like it's gonna be a hell of an experience uh, oh I yeah got, uh, third person dishonored from it looking at it just that, yeah. that feel yeah. I got from it yeah I could see that I could absolutely <clears throat> see that 
Um, like God, so far, yeah. I'm digging the vibe in this thing. It looks like yeah. fun, and just I'm I'm buying it. it it's and it's happening. A long trenching oh. shovel as a as a weapon. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, no, I I kind of like that as a weapon. It's a fun yeah. idea. I mean, like I buy almost every Souls game that comes out. I mean, I still have Themistesia on deck to play at some point. Hmm. Um, but yeah, that like it already had me by being a competently made looking Souls like. The more I find out about it, the more I'm just like, yes, all of the things. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Like, for me, I, the main reasons I... I'm not great at Souls games. I kind of just suck at them to, in general. But I'll mm. power through most of the ones that I like the style of. And I think this one's going to have me for a while. Mm. I think the last one you played was um, the the vampire one. Uh, Code Vein? Yeah, yeah. The weird anime esque kind of one. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. I enjoyed yeah, that Yeah, it was. It was really fun. Uh, next game is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I have no idea what this fucking game is. I'm getting the vibe that this is... You know those um, games where it's like a murderer hunting down a group of survivors kind of thing? So one person oh, plays asymmetrical the, multiplayer. That one. But I'm assuming it's going to be more multiple clowns and versus multiple people. So like... I'm getting I, I just want to know who was of. asking for this game? Like... I don't know, uh, it's based on a movie, movie from the 80s. I know, and yeah, it's a movie that probably should have stayed in the fucking annals of history and fucking stayed there, please. Yeah, I don't pretty know much, why like, it needed to be resurrected as a fucking video game now. Yeah, because it definitely shows you playing as clowns and as people, and it's like, yeah. I, I don't know what to make of this, and I don't know who thought so this was a good here's idea. Here's the, 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 the little blurby thing from the Steam page. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game, is an asymmetrical multiplayer horror based uh, horror based on the iconic 80s film. In the battle between Killer Clowns and c- citizens of Crescent Cove, team up and use your wits to harvest humans or save them from the alien invasion. This sounds dumb. It does. Yep. I mean, but, someone, it's, it's going to be streamer fuel for a while, I think. There's a few things in here I think are going to be streamer fuel. Yeah. Um, but that one, to me, just screams it. Because those asymmetrical multiplayer things are like, very... They've been doing that for a while. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not a fan of anything. The minute I realize something's asymmetrical, it's like, no. this is. Well, I hate them just for trying to get any kind of match going. Because either everyone wants to be the murderer and just doesn't want to play a survivor... And they'll just solo stack that shit. And if they don't get the thing they want, they ditch. And it's like, I hate mm. dealing with these people. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, it, I don't, it's not in this uh, trailer compilation, but like a little while ago, we saw a thing for the new Ghostbusters game. Mm. And I was super hyped. Cause it's like, more Ghostbusters? Fuck yeah, let's go. Absolutely. And then, it's a, yeah. then it's, oh, it's an asymmetrical multiplayer game. Fuck it out. I'm not doing That's- that. That's where yeah. it lost me. I was so keen for that until I was like, oh, you can play with the ghost. Like, I don't fucking want that. Let me hunt ghosts, please. G- give me a fucking a Ghostbusters story where you actually got to go through it and research the ghost. Oh, fuck, it's this yeah. kind of ghost and this is the environment it's in. Oh, fuck, I actually have to plan for this thing. Fuck yeah, I'm all over that. But oh, I would love that. that would, multiply- that's my perfect <laughs> yeah. thing for it. I would be Hell, so fuck, keen. Do that as just a co-op. Just... Yeah. Co-op where you've got a squad where you got to go out, work out where the ghost is, how to fucking catch it, plan the fucking thing, and then go out and do it. All over it. I don't want to have to fucking play multiplayer doing that. No. I'm pretty no, sure no. everyone's just trying to chase um, Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Because the versus mode in that is still, to this day, incredibly popular. Mm. But the thing I think everyone forgets is there's a fucking game there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like just the survivors versus the specials. There's a fucking mission and things to do and things to progress. It's not just the fight. It's well, that's the problem that it always shoot happens. Shoot yeah. yeah. It always happens. One game will come along that will, you know, spawn a genre. Like, Souls-like is a thing. Like, because mm. they came along and they spawned a, you know, a sub-genre. But everyone just focuses on that one mechanic that 
you know people really liked and forget mm. that you know there was other shit to it guys you still need to have a story there you can't just have this mechanic and be expecting money I mean after the Souls thing started to take off everyone thought that the thing everyone wanted was just oh they just want it to be really difficult right alright well we can do that mm. yeah. no there's a much more delicate balance there <laughs> yeah yeah, um, balance okay. makes a fucking hell of a difference. Yeah. Not just so, a game is hard, live with it. Yeah. So next game was Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I'm not going to buy this. I'm no. kind of tempted. Like, The problem well, is, whilst I hate J.K. Rowling, I do like the plot of this. And it yeah. annoys the shit out of me. I completely agree with you. And I will admit, this trailer... Uh, pitches this game as being a lot more darker than I thought it was going to be and that mm. did spike my interest but it's like I I, I don't want to give Rowling money I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not buying it I'm not doing that <laughs> like that's my main concern I, I don't want to give her money um, so it's like I, I'm a, I'm not going to buy this at launch I might hang around and see how it goes and yeah, see what happens fair. but it's like eh it's one of those things where, like, separating the author from the material is a thing. But at the same time, this horrible person is making money. Like, I don't mm. want that. Yeah. But for the, the game itself, look I'm curious, sick. like, how far into is it, like, do you get randomly assigned a house? Or do you have to do something to get assigned into one of the houses? And how much does that affect the story? Or is it just a a cyberpunk, oh, yeah, you're in this house, but here's the exact same story as every other fucking thing. I would actually yeah. rather it if they just pick one and then run the story off of that. Like, in this trailer, yeah. it seems like everyone's a Slytherin. Yeah. Hmm. Do that. Just make the people a Slytherin so you can do whatever plot line you want to do. Don't copy, paste, piece of shit it, because that's really not going to help. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if I can play as a Hufflepuff, I will do that. <laughs> yeah, but a Hufflepuff the... who's actually good at things. This would be great. Yeah, but then if you were just that, it'd be like, what's the whole game? Planning the ultimate guy's night? <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, what did your, like, what, like, what is the story you guys went through? It's, oh, we had to kill these trolls. It's like, the fuck are you guys playing? I got baked in the house room and just, like, ate food. <laughs> that was the entire game. <laughs> game of the year. Oh. So The, the Hufflepuff one. version is just sitting there doing nothing. That's it. You're in the common room. Everyone else dies. <laughs> Uh, so next game was High on Life and I'm not gonna lie this was a absolutely garbage teaser like this was so bad like I, don't I actually if... I like the stuff I've seen on other platforms for this like I've yeah. seen this pop up a few times but like other shit I've seen for this game so far was more engaging than this yeah whoever greenlit this trailer did not want to sell this game no no they, they fucking hate it they're showing a very annoying looking boss full of complex mechanics which is either an end boss or something towards that point. It's like, fuck. But I don't, even then, not like, me happy. Like, the voice lines in it are just obnoxious. Like, just yeah. immediately yeah. I, I just wanted to mute it. But then if you watch the, the game loop of playing the, like, defeating this boss, it's shoot it a bunch. Oh, the cover's gone. Okay, now shoot it a bunch more. Now swing around. You've landed. Now shoot it a bunch more. It's yeah. over. Yeah, it's, it's like, there is nothing I want to do in that game. No, like, this one is having to listen to those characters. The knife. Oh, I like stabbing. I don't give a fuck. Like nothing yeah. in that makes me have any interest. Yeah. I like Rick and Morty. I like other games I've made. This has turned me off that completely. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and this is one of those the... things. It's like I don't want to deal with it, and yeah. I know it's just going to be streamer bait. It's just going to be full of memes and other stuff yeah. to try and cash in for about a month i mean like that first trailer i saw for this game kind of had me a little little hype on it it's like my oh, humor looks good but it was a heavily curated trailer this on mm. the other hand this was a what's and all show experience and it's like oh oh this isn't good this, yeah this is not this good. is how like this is what you're showcasing and this is how the game will play uh yeah no interest yeah, no no yeah like i might pick, pick this up on sale or something but i am not getting this at launch I'll, I'll wait for it to be in a humble bundle. Yeah, yeah. Wait, about six months. <laughs> oh, so, that. Next one was the new trailer for Gotham Knights. I am keen for anything Batfam, not gonna lie. Yeah, that that's a pretty easy sell, I'm not gonna lie. 
Like so far, all of the um, the Arkham stuff and the um, the other ones that have popped up have been mint. I have really enjoyed them. Like if they keep that same branding going, I'm in. It'll be fun. Well, it's it's n- it's not connected to the Arkham games. I know, but no, same styling kind of thing. It hmm. looks like they've taken some inspiration from it. Oh, that, <gasps> look. Worst comes to worst, they fucking cribbed its notes super hard. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not expecting it to be like a oh my god game of the year, but for a dumb like beat 'em up, fuck yeah, I'm all over it. I'm so. I, I've been it. wanting a good beat 'em up for a while. Like I think we've been missing one for the last a like, year or so. Mm. Is this meant to be like a fucking a co-op beat 'em up, or is it just you pick a character, there's your story, now pick another? So character. I think this it is, progresses through different ones. But this is the thing we don't really know: is you can play this... it co-op. It is an option. And there is four different characters to play Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl, Robin. And theoretically you can pick one, but like, can I play the whole game as Red Hood or can I just play Red Hood missions? I don't know. Or I imagine can you play the entire game as a squad of four going through to kicking the shit out of everything? And how the fuck does the scaling of that work? Yeah. I imagine you might be able to switch them out at different times because there was in one of the Batman games a point where you could go to certain places then switch out to a different character and then run yeah. around the city and do stuff that their character needed to do. Yeah, well, I mean, that's so, my point. Like, can, do I need to keep doing that? Or can I just play the game as the Bat fan member I like the most? But I imagine like, there'd be certain points you'd have to switch. But is this like uh, like the previous Batman games where it's open world and you can swing around and fucking kick the shit out of things and fuck off over somewhere else? Or is it just, all right, here's your straight dungeon crawl now. Go through, kick shit out of enemy. They have room, shown, kick shit out of enemy. Um, in previous trailers, they have shown the open city. Yeah. So that'd be interesting. Like, I'm still keen and I'm probably going to get this. And the fact that I can like play with multiple people means I'm going to rip you fuckwits into playing this game with me. So, oh yeah. no! Uh, why would you we can run around as the Bat Fam? <laughs> <laughs> the one problem I have with this, and I know it's a completely me thing, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the way Nightwing's uh, shoes look. I'm pretty sure it's mostly in the soles of the boots that make me think he's just wearing a pair of Chuck Taylors. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I can't unsee it. I don't know why. I saw it once, and now every time I see his feet, it's just like. Why is he wearing checks? <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> yes. You, you got to be really comfy whilst kicking someone's face in. Like, if you get the good enough shoes, when you break their nose, you don't even feel it. Well, exactly. but if you if that it's was your game... It's the inner support. If that was your game plan, well, wouldn't you just go get some docks? Ah, that is true. You know you could just power wash the blood off of those. No, see, <laughs> docks are already taken by, like, Red Hood, guaranteed. He's got that's fair. docks. Actually, actually, that's pretty fair. Okay, so then there was a trailer uh, for a controller which we ignored. Yeah, I was about to say next thing's an ad. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't care. Why? Like this looks like a first per, uh, first party third party controller. Like yeah. a yeah. gimmick of you can swap the sticks out. That's gonna break within like a week, and then uh, oh no, here's go spend another eighty bucks to get another two fucking sticks to jam in. It'll break another week later. Warranty? Uh, like, what warranty? I will guarantee yeah. you, it's a response to the Xbox. Which has the same yeah, thing. Elite they controller. To, yeah. So they yeah. they brought out a controller. What was it? They elite controllers came out four years ago. They're right on fucking time. Like, mm. what's really what's the fucking purpose of this thing? Like the gimmick of being able to swap the sticks out. What do you get out and buy different sticks with a higher tension or a lower tension I, or? I, I think Sony's no just idea. playing a lot of catch up at this point. They're yeah. trying really They're hard. They're trying to do something, and I don't see the purpose of it. Like they've added the buttons back underneath, like the Elite controllers have had. And mm. I, when I played a lot of Xbox, I I went out and bought a Elite controller because I fucking wanted one, and I took those buttons off straight away. I like yeah. the controller because it was fucking heavier and like yeah. it yeah. had a decent feel to it. But all the rubber fucking grip on it, that all that came off within fucking six months, and they don't give a shit. I all all I want is just a chunky controller, controller again. Like I oh, want a Duke. decent chunky. I have a Duke. A, I, I have a Duke around here that is new. Like it's not a, a fan mod. Like they released it for a little while that you could buy the original Duke. 
I wish I knew where it was because I would absolutely pull it out and show it to you, but I do own one. I did buy an officially licensed reproduction of the Duke. If mm. I had a Duke to run on my PC now, that's all I'd fucking use. Like, such a good controller. Yeah, absolutely. And it was big enough that I can use it, like, I know. big hands. God damn. Oh. I have there's fucking some baseball mitts moment, right? for hands. I need chunky controllers. <laughs> yeah, like, there's got to be someone... Like, uh, decent controller out there at the moment that does this it has to be like they could have gone through and like put better internals in the controller like tossed it up fine tuned it made it like a proper premium product but Mm. having it so the whole gimmick is now you can swap the sticks out that's just another failure point yeah like, it, I want something that's chunky like f- that's going to last for fucking ages. I don't want yeah. something that's going to break Something you pick like it up and go, fuck, this thing is good. I want to use this. Like, this thing is yeah. going to last. Not- like, if I could pick up a control and realize I could bash someone's head in with this, then I, that's the control for me. Yeah. I mean, that's the but, dude. I don't know. That <laughs> It just feels like a third-party gimmick in a first-party controller. And yeah, it, mm. it really I does. Just don't see but they're going to charge you 200 bucks for it. You can guarantee that. Oh, yeah, that. fuck it. Absolutely. Um... So moving on, the next thing we have is the Outlast Trials. Uh, I'm not going to play this. I'm it not looks like Saw yet. the video game, but done badly. It, like, it's a multiplayer Outlast game. At, yeah. at least that's what I remember it being. Um, I'm, I'm not interested. I wasn't interested even if it was just a straight Outlast game. I might have watched some of the YouTube guys I watched play it, but that would have been it. I had yeah. zero fucking interest in Outlast. Yep. Looks like they're going, they're just leaning into the, we're gory as fuck gimmick. And it's like, is there a story here? No! Like, oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> there was the though. first one. Yay! Hmm? So much blood! It actually wasn't a bad plot in the first one, but yeah. they shot that out the window with the sequel, and they, <laughs> I would not expect them to care in a multiplayer focused one. No, oh, God, no. So, next up after that was Return to Monkey Island. I'm not uh, sold on it because it I looks wrong for some for this. I'm a big fan of the Monkey Island series and they got the original uh, creator to come back to do this one so I'm probably going to pick it up. I'm not sold on the art style. Yeah. And I think it's weird that it's not a sequel to any uh, where they're actually technically up to in the Monkey Island line. He's gone back to Monkey Island 2 and doing a sequel to that, despite the fact that there are two more canonical games. Yeah. They, I, I don't understand what's going on. I'm not sold on the art style either. It just looks wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. I would have rather go back, do Pixel Art again, or uh, what was it, uh, Monkey Island 3, uh, Curse of Monkey Island. Uh, do that again, that would have been good. Mm. Um, I'm not sold on this like paper craft layered thing they're doing this feels Um, like a cash grab to me and i don't know why i can't place the exact reason but that's because the trailer's voiced by stan the salesman (laughs) yeah true Uh, that just annoyed me as soon as it came out hi i'm stan from marketing i don't care i that turned me off and i skipped to the next fucking trailer you'd have to like stan's a staple character from the franchise yeah and he always turns up and tries to sell the character dumb shit so like, as a fan, I appreciate it, Dan. I understand exactly why you hate him. Uh, yep. The next one there was, like, <laughs> basically Roller Coaster Tycoon, but with on crack, yeah. essentially. I mean, it's this modern, weird, modern weird looking stuff. Tycoon. But, I mean, yeah. like, there's so many that exist now. It, like, if this was the first one releasing after Roller Coaster Tycoon, probably would have done well. But you have Parkitect and, uh, what is it, Coaster Tycoon? Uh, the yeah, one that's uh, based on the same engine as Zoo Tycoon. Yeah. There's another VR one. Like, there's a few of them out there. Like, yeah. I don't see it adding anything new to the make a theme park fucking genre. As far Basically, as like, some tell, of the rides look interesting like to look at and that kind of stuff. But it's like, yeah, cool. Once that novelty is gone, you, you've just got a generic park simulator again. Yeah, that, that's all it seems to be is we're zany. Mm. Okay? Mm. But, like I said, the the Planet Coaster, that was it. That was the yeah. one I was yeah. trying to think of. Yeah, that's the Planet, other one. Planet Coaster, have you seen some of the shit people have made in that? That shit is oh, dumb yeah. as fuck. A dude made an entire city in it for some fucking reason yeah. just because he could. Yeah, no, There's like, already the... plenty of stuff that lets you do zany, so making that your entire design philosophy that's 
probably not going to help. There's so a, I don't a know YouTube video I've seen of a bloke who made a, a coaster in that, and as you ride through it, it literally plays out a, like a, I think it's a five minute like movie, like an in, a thing where you can sit down and you watch the events happen, like you're literally mm. rolling oh, through wow. this movie, and that was pretty fucking cool. This I don't. Like, see I like the fact you can make your own custom buildings and stuff, and I could probably yeah. get lost in that for a few hours, but uh, even that wouldn't hold my attention for long. I don't think. Uh, well, again, uh, Planet Coaster, um, you can snap anything to anything. Yeah. So if you want to make a custom building, you can just take the inner framework bit that needs to function as the building, and then you can just snap anything you want to make whatever fucking building you want. Pretty much. I, I just don't see the point in this game at all. Yeah. It, it's trying to bust into a genre that's already plenty saturated with content. Yep. And Agreed. next up after that was the new Tales from the Borderlands game. Uh, made by Telltale. I don't know if I can convey air quotes harder over audio. <laughs> yeah. Because this is just a new studio wearing Telltale skin after it got butchered and sold. And then, oh, hey, we like that branding. We're going to keep it. Yeah. Like, and I'm honestly getting kind of tired of uh, this franchise. Or Borderlands or the Telltale yeah. stuff? Borderlands. That's fair. Yeah. It's saturated. I they need to do something different. I enjoyed the first one was fucking great the second one yeah. I plowed through the pre-sequel annoyed the shit out of me and oh, three fuck. I think I've played probably an hour of it and uninstalled it I was done one <laughs> was a great demo of an idea two was yeah. absolutely the single best thing they ever did with the franchise pre-sequel much the same to you found that shit annoying as fuck oh yeah. just, yep. that was not good um Three, I finished, and all its DLC, and it wasn't worth it. Um, Tales from the Borderlands, though, the first one done by Telltale, was a real breath of fresh air. I quite liked that one. Mm. Um, hell, they dragged out characters from that game for Borderlands 3. Yeah. Um, so, I, I'm not opposed to this. If it can even get close to what they managed to pull off with the last one, it might be good. I'm just kind of burnt out in the franchise. Like That's the, right. I, I I always liked it to start with, but now it's just kind of samey, and I can't be bothered. And That's fair. That's very fair. Yeah. I mean, Something that's why I, I only have hope because of the medium, and that's it. If it was, yeah. just, if it was like, oh, it's another Borderlands, would be like, meh, whatever, bro. Pretty much. And that isn't the only like Telltale game on this list. Yeah, yeah. No, there's there's the Expanse later on is yeah. Well, we'll talk but about yeah. it when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next one was... Uh, uh, was it Moving... Moving Out 2. Moving, Moving Out 2. two. I never played the first one. a sequel to a game I never heard of. Yeah, yeah I know, right? <laughs> the first one it was definitely a streamer bait game because it's all you're doing is you're moving furniture around and that's it. Like, it's a very simple game. Uh, so people could make some interesting content out of it. And this looks like they're going in a very similar route but more on the lines of we're gonna break shit like okay I, I don't get this but I, I think they're cool. just dialing up the zany this that looks very much like thing. that um that cooking game like you multiplayer fucking cooking yeah that one just yeah. you're moving shit around I yeah sure it might be fun but I don't think I'll it's not for me I'm not the target audience yeah, for this no, let's be honest neither am I no yeah uh, next up was Moonbreaker and I don't understand what this game is made for. This, I don't this get it. This is a video like, game that should have been me. a board game. Yeah. Yeah. This kind of annoyed the shit out of me because it's one of those things where they've gone halfway to something. And it's like, there's things, what are the, the uh, D&D map makers and that kind of thing, like Tailspire and VTTs, all that kind of stuff. yeah. Virtual yeah. tabletops. It seems like someone's got a hold of one of those and has tried to make a game out of it. Now, this could have been great if, you know, things were properly animated, but it looks like someone is just slapping models together, like literal actual minis and, this, you know, now kids, mm. that kind of thing. And either animate it fully or don't make it like this. Like, I don't get this. Yeah. Like, like the only thing in the trailer, 
and I don't think this saves by any means. That even sort of looks good. Just they did. They seem to have a very detailed custom painter for yeah. your yeah. characters. I would never use it, or they'd all get like slapped mono color done. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'd have I'd have a full squad of gray, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, but like that's cool, I guess. But I'd rather see them move. Yeah, like but that'd be great. If they'd done this, but they did it like as XCOM style, we actually had to move your squad around and fight against other people. Like pretty much just do XCOM 2's multiplayer and I'd yeah. be happy <laughs> that'd be okay that'd be pretty fun but it's the fact that the, the models are static to me makes it seem like this was meant to be a competitor for Warhammer but they realised we don't want to have to be able to like print and sell these minis mm. we'll yeah. just make it a, a you know virtual thing like, let's make cool, digital but, minis like, yeah, yeah but at the same time if you're making it digital why wouldn't you either give them an idle animation or something to do? You know what the saddest bit thing. of this game is, though? You know who is doing the story for it, right? Who? Nope. The guy who wrote the Mistborn books. Damn it! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I it, like it, those it, books. <laughs> it's his yeah, original like... setting is what is being used as the setting for this game. But I like his his right. Damn it! Uh, it no, it this honestly feels like someone got through to a VCT and then took his book and tried to apply it. Then, like that's what I'm getting from this. I, I don't know, like, man. I, I don't even see how that could actually have any form of story. It's like a VTT fucking PVP alphabet fucking thing. Like I don't know what that's meant to be. Like, how, where is the story in that? It's an arena fucking. Mini fighter. I don't know, man. I don't Who know. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, moving on. Next one up was Marauders. This is a tiny trailer and tells you fucking nothing if you don't already know what Marauders is. It's another game trying to do the, the Tarkov thing. Uh, you know, in you space. Get, yeah. That, I mean, look, the, the in space element I do like. And I have watched a few people play it. But yeah, it's, it's not really... Most people are like, this thing's pretty jank still, and they understand that it's in beta, but mm, it's rough. It's real rough. Yeah. I think that's yeah. why we got such a small trailer, because they don't have anything to show off yet. Yep, that sounds uh, bad. <laughs> next one after that was Honkai Star Rail, which is the new game from the Genshin Impact guys. It's a nothing trailer. They don't show us anything. It, it's a space yeah. train, and that for some reason is appealing to me so I'm going to keep an eye on this one because um, you know space train good times it uh, looks like a generic fucking JRPG yeah yeah it look looks... man sometimes I actually am in the mood for that it, you know turn my same. brain off grind some slimes yeah, yeah no, sometimes I, you can be the in the mood for it but you could pick up any one of a oh, hundred JRPGs and yeah not known which one it was if you didn't see the fucking title at the front because they're all the oh, same yeah. fucking thing. Yeah. Like, I've actually felt that urge recently to get back into a JRPG. So I've grabbed hold of um, the new Dragon Quest game. The uh, one that you can change between full 3D world and old school 2D sprite uh, oh. version. Okay. So I'm going to give that a shot because that just seemed interesting. Okay. That's been out for a while now. Um... Next up on the list was Homeworld 3. Fuck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It I'm... looks so pretty. Oh, it's... Look, when this trailer started, I didn't know what it was, and then I saw the like the, the square box appear for their yeah. warp in, yeah. and I'm like, oh, I don't even know what the title of this is, and I know it's Homeworld. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Like, like, it looks just the, the movement and everything in it is like, oh my god, I want this now. And they're <laughs> pushing hard back into the uh, full 3D... Uh, flight box yeah. so you can actually the actual like, strategy of it oh it's so good looking oh, I want it so much like, I fail miserably at these games but they are very pretty and fun oh yeah I, I would highly suggest if you don't play Homeworld watch someone play Homeworld it's, it'll oh, be yeah. worth it Homeworld yeah. 3 is gonna be one of those things you're gonna find that one streamer who's like got all the big brain strats and can do the crazy things and it'll be just gorgeous and amazing <laughs> So this might be something that I just harass you guys to play while I just sit there and Statler and Waldorf in the background. I mean, I could, <laughs> but I'm terrible at these games. 
<laughs> oh, me too. Well, that's fine. It means I can sit there and make fun of it. so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I played all, Homeworld 1, Homeworld 2, Deserts of Karat. They were all great. I, See, yep. I want it. I want Homeworld 3. <laughs> I'll just backseat drive the, the ship. But it's fine. Uh, you know, it looks next very up, fancy. Yes, it does. Uh, next after that is what depresses me because it's made by Coffee Stain and Coffee Stain used to make a lot of games and they were very mm. good. They used to be one of my favorite little indie developers. And now they just make Goat Simulator. Yeah, this is Goat the trailer Sim. for Goat Sim 3. Yeah, and again, stream of eight. And this time it's you can have multiple goats and all that kind of stuff. And I, mean, I don't understand how we're up to the... I think it's actually technically the fourth. I'm pretty sure there was a spin-off in there somewhere. There was, yeah, somewhere. I, I don't understand how there's so many of these. It feels like the kind of thing where the joke would have been finished the first time. It yeah. was. And they now it was just, finished about five minutes into the first time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like now we're just going to go zany. So I, I don't care. I never actually played the first one. I could not be fucking asked. It's not for me. It's no. definitely a uh, like things. It should be for me. I, I'm pretty sure I'm ADHD. This would be like the perfect game for me. But I can't stand it. No, like at all. I, I don't get the appeal. The, the The most interesting thing I've seen come out of Goat Simulator was that first trailer they did where they ripped off the Dead Island 2 trailer. That yeah. was funny. Fuck yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. That's the best that thing to come out of Goat Sim. And actually give a little bit of a shit about Goat Simulator and then about two minutes into that I thought, it's Goat Simulator and I lost everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, next thing up is the trailer for the new big expansion for Genshin Impact. If you're into Genshin Impact good for you i've not Congrats. played it but it seems interesting i guess uh, look i've played it for a while it was serviceable enough it's very pretty i will say that although there was one of our friends that got a wee bit addicted to genshin impact which one there's a few wasn't there uh moose ah yeah no fair <laughs> yeah, he, yeah he he got a little like he was like planning his day around when rotations happened in genshin impact and was like mm, that's not good bro <laughs> yeah I mean, it looks very nice. I, it's very pretty. I just... I managed to avoid this game somehow. Look, it, look on, quite, on, quite very fairly and very honestly, it is pretty as fuck. There are some yeah. locations in that game where you just look out over the vista and it's like, fuck, how is this free? Um, Actually, no. The only interaction I have with this game is 3D printing. Because a lot of people have made the, uh, the emblems and that kind of stuff mm. with 3D printing. Yeah, that's fair. That's the only way I know this. Uh, next up and is it's free because it's full of fucking microtransactions. Yeah, oh, oh it's, yeah, it's anyway. a complete gotcha game. It, oh yeah, no one and the game isn't. It, it doesn't pretend it's not, which is the one reason I don't have too much of a problem with Genshin Impact doing it. It's not pretending that it's a real game and not a gotcha game. It very openly goes. Look, the only way to get characters is to randomly get them. We're not going to give you them. So you know, it's pretty straight up about how it wants to monetize and treat its yeah. audience. So how angry can I be yeah uh, next up is friends versus friends which is just seems to be another arena shooter game their gimmick seems to be that you get cards and you can play them during the combat to get special effects that's about it otherwise it's just a stylized arena shooter with your buddies yeah didn't they do that in back for blood like they already had yeah kind of yeah know. No, no, in Black for Blood, you create a deck of cards that affect your character passively. These are active use cards. Ah. Like spell okay. cards. But, I mean, like, <laughs> I I just look back to when uh, when we were at uni, and you'd go to the final projects day, where everyone put up their thing for the year, and you'd go into the, the programmer um, animator team-up area, and it'd just be arena shooter, arena shooter, arena shooter, oh, yeah. arena shooter. Yeah. Um, they're just not that interesting to me you, you've got to li I don't know how you would do something with an arena shooter these days to make me interested but this isn't it <laughs> pretty much next uh, up we had everywhere and I don't know what this is I don't know what it is me and my housemate looked up the website we still don't know what it is <laughs> I, I thought it was like a racing game at one point and now I'm not sure I I, I from, it seems like they're trying to do the what was it the dream machine thing where you can look all kinds of things in it hmm. I honestly have no idea we tried to look it up and find out but I'll, I, I have nothing I cannot like it's very pretty I, it looks nice I will give it that 
But all I can think is like they've made an engine. I think like, yeah, they've make made your own an engine, engine, or it's an ad for a studio, and we're actually looking like six different games, like between a racing yeah. game and a shooter and a platformer. But they're all third person. Like, I have no idea. But neither do I. Anyway, moving on. Uh, next thing was an expansion for Dying Light Two: Blood Ties. I don't care. I couldn't stand Dying Light. I don't know if I would give a rat's about anything from them again. I loved Dying Light. Dying Light was great. Dying Light 2 mm. was a bit half-baked. I didn't hate my time with it, but I didn't love my time with it either. I it never finished thing. it. I got to a point where it's just, nope, I think I'm done. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think that's I a lot of people. That point as well. yep. yeah. yeah. Dying Light 1, I played, I've played through multiple times. I've played it multiplayer. i played it single player. I love Dying Light 1. Dying Light 2 is just meh. Yeah. Um, next thing was Dune Awakening, which looked absolutely amazing, and I was super oh, yeah, no. in for it until it was an MMO, and now I don't care. Yeah, it, like, I was so excited for this until it came with survival MMO. It's like, ah, uh, all right, take that off the fucking list. So, like, I might still give it a shot, considering I'm a massive survival whore. So we'll see how we go with that. But I don't know. It does look pretty fucking fun, though. Like until that point. <laughs> I'd, again, I'd like the to issue see with survival games is other it, people. Not, uh, yeah, the issue I have with survival MMOs is other people. Rarely is it the game. Yeah, that, that's not just survival MMOs, Swoosh. That's just other people. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> just, that's just a general blanket all other people. Yeah. You know. Uh, so next up, we had uh, Atlas Fallen. Atlas Fallen. Uh, that this did is the new pretty. game from Deck 13, uh, which I'm very interested in because they're the guys who did Lords of the Fallen and Scourge 1... Uh, Scourge? Scourge? Was it Scourge? Yeah, Scourge. Scourge. Scourge and Scourge 2. Yeah, Scourge 1 and 2. And they seem to have learned every time they do another game how to do it better. Yeah. So yeah. this one with like people with crazy powers skating around the desert doing something, fighting big monsters, it's like, yeah, let's do it. I'm in. I really want to see what you guys have got at the table this time. I want to see some gameplay, but it, it looks pretty fun. Like, I I'm, want to play this game. I'm curious if it's, like, it has to be, like, a co-op fucking game, or if you can just play through it by yourself and enjoy the fucking world. Because it I, seems very much conjoined fucking characters. Okay. I'm getting Monster Hunter vibes from it. The The, the only thing I, that, that I'd say to that is they show two people in the cutscene... But when they show the little tiny bit of gameplay trailer at the end, it's all single. There's a point where there's two of them skating around, so it must be you can be on your own or have a friend. Yeah, um, but through this whole trailer, there's these two main characters. Yeah, yeah, but look are. at the box, like the box artwork at the end of it, and they're the same two characters that are primary on the box. Are they yeah. two characters, or are they like pick one of them? You know, um, Assassin's Creed style, where it's like two main characters, but you just pick one. But the, like looking at it, they're not. You can't just copy paste, like cut one out and replace it with the other. They're very different play styles and skill sets. Very different skill So and, I'm, yeah. I'm curious as, uh, to know a little bit more about it to see 100%. if Absolutely. I need to find someone actually enjoy playing through this with, or if I'm gonna play through it with a dumb as fuck AI following me around. Mm. If That's I can have another person playing, if I you know can kidnap like someone to play this game, then sure, I'm in. Like. But if it's just me a dumb AI, like, uh, meh, maybe yeah. not. Um, so after that, we had Crossfire Babylon, which is just the next big thing for Crossfire. I don't play Crossfire, so... I, I didn't know they were I've, a thing. I've never even heard of Crossfire until I've seen this trailer. And it just Neither. looks like a COD or Battlefield knockoff. Yeah, yeah, kind of. This is as much as I know of it. Uh... After that was Black Tail, which I am actually pretty interested in. I really like the sound of this game. It does look pretty weird and fun. I like it. Well, its whole thing is like you're a witch with a bow and you get to explore this weird forest and you can make some decisions. Are you going to be good? Are you going to be evil? It seems like you might have to fight your sister or some other witch. It's it's interesting. Like I Visually, I'm on board. I'm like, yes, I'm interested to see what this is going to actually do. Hmm. Um, like I'm interested in this like definitely I don't know if I'd pick it up at launch but it's definitely the kind of thing where if like 
if it was on sale I'd pick it up or if I hear good things once it comes out but yeah it, it definitely yeah. on the radar um, the next thing is less a release and more of just a, a little bit of an update thing because um, I was going to say I could have sworn this was already out so I, I'm terrible at saying this game's fucking name Dorfromantic Dorfromantic yeah. It's just fun. I don't know. Yeah, it's this fun little game where you try and match tiles and make a whole scene. It's it's really chill. I really like it when I'm super stressed out. I just want to play something simple. I play a bunch of this game. It's really. I've not relaxing. played it, but I've seen it, and it looks relaxing as fuck. It is. I, it very I should at some fun. point pick it up. I think I have this game, and I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> and a a very similar game to it on PC, because that only lists uh, Switch. This was the thing. It's already out on PC. This is the trailer for the Switch launch of the game. Okay, well yeah. then I've probably already got it and uh, yeah. not even known it. <laughs> uh, next one was Weird Song. And I yeah. understand basically nothing from this trailer. It's very visually interesting. but th th It that's looks very nice, but at the same time, these are the guys who's like, oh, it's Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. It's like, yeah. you also fucked us on Outer Worlds, guys. <laughs> like... I don't trust you anymore. I don't think it's that studio, is it? Uh, they or is say it just it's more the people... industry veterans that brought you. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah. I don't think it's the same studio yeah. that did Outer Worlds. It's but they, yeah. Well, I, I know Outer Worlds, yeah, but I yeah, don't know what it is. That doesn't mean um, like it's that studio. Yeah. But yeah, they're doing the braggy thing where it's like we did all the good games. Okay, and I don't trust that anymore. If you're no. having to bring up your previous work as like the selling point, then. No, I, I'm learning from my past mistakes of trusting you on this. Yeah. Yep. Like, uh, that gives you absolutely nothing about what that game is. No. Like, yeah. There's they're praying for hype of something in that because it tells you nothing. Yeah. Like visually, it's pretty cool, but that's it. That's like, all we there, get. There's there's a guy standing on a castle battlement. There's a a moon and then it's red and now it's blue and now there's a big thing okay done yeah yeah I have Who no idea what this is knows what that is uh next up was where winds meet and uh I'm actually pretty interested in this one I like what yeah. I'm seeing here I'm getting I'm, very I'm getting Ghost um, of Tsushima vibes like so strong yeah it, it's definitely the kind of thing where someone went oh hey that thing did real well let's uh let's let's keep an eye on that and and, and take what we can because there's a shot where he runs across like a field with all the bamboo behind it and I'm like when I first saw that it was like holy shit are we getting the Tsushima sequel already? Um, it's like someone has t has watched Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon again I'm like fuck it why isn't this a game? And yeah. And done it. I'm like I'm okay with this. Like there's I'm a point where they're running like the, on water. Yeah and then he jumps up off the boat and he does the slow-mo bow shot it's just like this looks cool. And it's using uh, Chinese mythology, which I know far less than I know um, Japanese. So, hmm. I'm Kung Fu Panda, bud, it's all you need to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I'm kind of keen. It looks fun and interesting, and you can still do the sneaky stabby stabs. Yeah. So, keen. Um, I'm a bit concerned. There was a bit of color washout in a few of the places, but it still could be good. Well, it could be stylistic for that moment. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Or it might be a, like a, a world sense where you're looking around and, oh, this thing is highlighted. Yeah. That's important. Hmm. But Look, it's, then, it looks it's still a cool trailer and I'm definitely oh, yeah. be keeping an eye on it. The, um, the, the scene towards the end of it where like there's the, the big boat swords. and it, like, they wall run around it and then blow up the shit on the top of it. Like, that actually yeah. looks pretty mm. fucking cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And Chinese mythology has some weird and funky things in it, so I'm kind of keen. Yeah. It's mostly the fact that I'm not familiar with it. Like, mm. when I see stuff that use Japanese mythology, it's like, I'm interested, but I've read a lot, I've seen a lot, I took Japanese in school. Yeah. Um, so I'm more familiar with it, and that I like it, and I want more, but with Chinese mythology, it's like, I don't know any of this, so I'm super interested to learn some interesting stuff. It's why yeah. it's not in this trailer set but it's why i'm so excited for black mist wukong because yeah. it looks like they're gonna lean pretty pieces. hard on that yeah i know bits and pieces of the, the legend of monkey and all that kind of stuff and it's yeah. like i it's always interesting but i've never delved into it and now i can play something based on it which will be fun yeah. 
that trailer isn't in, in here though so don't go no. looking for black mist wukon in this trailer set <laughs> um, find it somewhere else it's good though there is a new trailer out for it and it is quite good they show a lot more gameplay um next up was warhammer 40,000 dark tide and i am super hyped for this fucking game just give it to me oh, now well, it's, we're it's playing 40k this game, like, vermintide it looks so yeah. good <laughs> we're going to play the shit out of this game like just oh yes oh yeah because it's a four person thing isn't it four person yeah, team just like yeah. vermintide all right we're kidnapping angry and we're playing this oh hell yeah oh it's gonna be so good um fuck yeah just, next up, there's I'm, not much more to say about it. It's just like it looks I, cool. I, I want to play it. <laughs> Do you We're like in. 40k? Yes. Did you like Vermintide? Yes. Go buy the fucking game. You don't and even it, need to have fucking tick all of those boxes. Like, do you like fucking four player fucking co op? Run around, and shoot everything. There's yeah. A box tick. That's enough for you. Do you like? Here's 40K? a bunch of shit oh, with really low hit enough. points, and you have a big scary gun. Go. I'm yeah. in. That's yeah. That's you don't need to tick every box. It ticks enough that I want to play it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The, but for me, the big one is because uh, Fat Shark, I think it is, mm. um, because they did so well with Vermintide, I have zero, uh, like, I absolutely 100% believe that they will succeed. I have zero belief that they'll fuck it up. They yeah. have already proved twice to me that they know what they're doing. And prelim uh, things from people who've gone to play tests have been very positive, so... Mm. And those were months ago, so if they've tightened it up since then, oh, it should be fucking good. Excellent. In, definitely in. Uh, next thing was Under the Wave, and I don't really understand what this is. I'm I think it's an explorer it. game, but it looks pretty. Yeah, it does. I'm but getting Subnautica vibes. It looks vibes, like a but... more detailed Subnautica. Yeah. Without, like, as many critters. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, I, I'm interested. I might have a look at this one when it comes out, and... I may end up getting it because it looks interesting and story filled so yeah. could be good it looks very explory based more yeah. than yes, I think it, it might be based. from what I can see in the trailer there's a lot of things like it looks like a sunken world so water world essentially uh, every, the seas rose and took over the land and now you get to explore it yeah I mean the shot where he's standing on like the, the highway was when mm, I was like yeah. oh, that's interesting I might keep it on the radar, but well, personally, I'm not that. The scene uh, after that, he's up. walking on the the deck of a sunken ship with a little ghost girl. So yeah, yeah, yeah there's some mystical story there, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll have, have a look at that one. I'll let you guys know. See. Uh, next up is the Lords of the Fallen, which is a <laughs> new game in the Lords of the Fallen set, not done by Deck Deck Thirteen, but. You know, they couldn't even just come up with a dumb subtitle for Lords of the Fallen. They just called it THE Lords of the Fallen. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like, pretty. Oh, yeah. The trailer looks great and the lore sounds delightfully interesting. Sure, fine. Fuck it. I'll give it a go. I Like I said, I'm a whore for anything that's a bit soulsy. Mm. So I'll play it. But like it's so weird that this game is one not done by deck 13 and two with just such a dumb addition to the name to distinguish it yeah this I, is I another keep an eye on this way one. for it to be in the humble bundle fair. yeah that's fair that is I want to see some fair. actual gameplay from it first but like I said I'm a <clears throat> absolute slut for Souls games so it'll probably get my money fair uh, next up is the earlier teased Expanse game by the Telltale guys um, I'm not sold on this. I don't think the stylized visuals actually do something based on the Expanse any favors, given how like hard sci-fi the Expanse is. Yeah. Stylization doesn't feel right to me. Yeah. No, I really like the Expanse. Like the TV series, I enjoyed, but the books and a bit more stuff, I loved even more. Yeah. This just. I don't know. I've, yeah. I've already had, like, going through the books of it, it was like, oh my god, this is so good. And then the TV show was like, it's all right, but the books are so much better. And then this is like, ah, oh, it's just another step down. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things, I guess. Like, certain things, the books are amazing. Like, you know, The Expanse does more, you know, does better than the actual series because they had to cut and change things. Then there's things like the original uh, Jurassic Park and Lost World books are fucking brutal and does not come across the movies as much no but yeah I don't know it, 
it looks alright, but it's another game I'd, I'll probably never touch. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. unlikely to ever buy that. Unless, much like you, it shows up on a humble bundle, and then be yeah. like, all right, as, maybe as I'll like a, like... as like a third or fourth game in the list. It's definitely never going to be a, yeah. a top tier no. fucking oh. game in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, next up was Stranded Alien Dawn. Um, I don't know what this is, but it looks it's ticking some boxes for me because I'm a massive slut for like survival base buildy stuff. Mm. The, the opening is, of this trailer that. with the ship coming in and the escape pod coming out and thinking, fuck yeah, this looks awesome. And then it just progressed and became another survival game. It's like, oh, you had me and not anymore. See, I'll be okay if it's not a fucking MMO. I, I want just to fuck around in that world. It looks fun. But yeah, I'm, I'm guaranteeing I'm, it's going to be another MMO. Not in for, for survival base building games. They're not my jam. I have a hard enough time surviving as it is, let alone in a fucking video game. (laughs) See, that's why I like them. I can survive in those video games. (laughs) Uh, Next up was uh, Scars Above, uh, which, despite a little bit of, like, weird lip flap, uh, did interest me, but, like, I like a lot of things with, like, weird space horror. It's like, yeah. I am getting yeah, yeah. Geiger vibes from it. I don't know why. Neither do I. I didn't really get guy. Ge- well, I mean, I guess. I don't know why, but it's, my brain is going, Geiger things, like, kind of, but no? See, I'm, like, mostly in because I'm getting some definitely definite cosmic horror stuff going on, and, mm. like, I absolutely fucking love cosmic horror. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> So, you know, it kind of got me on that, but meh, otherwise, I don't know. It's one of those games I'll, I'll wait till it comes out and learn a bit more about it to actually see yeah. what, what the game is before I go, oh yeah, I'm excited for that. Because currently, yeah. is it a, like a, an adventure fucking thing like or a exploration? Is it a fucking shooter? Like, yeah. It throws a lot of shit at you and it doesn't really tell you what it's meant to be yeah mm. but look it looks interesting I will definitely be keeping an eye on it oh yeah. Uh, yeah and the last thing up in our trailer rundown is Phantom Hellcat and I mean it looks interesting but that's it it looks kind of generic to me just someone slaps some generic go with sword basic monsters go some slight 2D stuff uh, as I mean, a basic nothing... hack and slash I think it could be fun but I, be. I don't see much in the way of story for it yet so. there's nothing but she's in that got trailer. a cassette tape yay <laughs> yeah no, they're definitely trying to go the Star Wars route there aren't they well it's yeah. better have a banging soundtrack then oh they fucking um, better I, I don't know there's just nothing in the trailer that makes me like oh yes that I want to I want to play that it's just like yeah oh, okay that's that's interesting I guess someone will like it yeah I mean I might give it a shot see how we go and uh, that's it. That's all of the stuff that got announced in the, the first night of Gamescom. Um, yeah. yeah. So that was that's us it. rambling about trailers and, for now. We did well. <laughs> <laughs> Our rambling about trailers took as long as the fucking trailer video itself took. Yeah. Hey! We actually on. weirdly, because I've been just playing in the background, we, we kept pretty much on par. The second like, things changed out, they would go on to the next one. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's an alternate like... audio. <laughs> a <Hey>. bitch track. <laughs> we just made a riff track, didn't we? Fuck. No, no, no. I, I like John Doe's one. We didn't make a riff track. We made a bitch track. We did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I think that's also indicative of, you know, the things that were longer, we had more to say about. The things that were shorter, we had less to say about because there was less yeah. to talk about. Mm. There's so much there. It's like, what is this? I don't know. Next thing. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, what that's trailers, trailers uh, isn't it? I, <laughs> Pretty much. Why? Why don't like? Sure, everything's fucking pre-rendered and everything, but throw some fucking gameplay. At least give some idea, not just here's a thing. What is it? You guess you'll need to find out. No, but I you just have to I waste interest. That's all that happened yeah. right there. Yeah, but the trailer we had in that that whole set that had the most gameplay in it made us hate the game the most. Yeah, yeah that that's true. true. But. It's like you got life, it just annoyed life. me to the bone straight out mm, as soon yeah. as I heard the gun talking and the knife came out I want to stab you stab you it's like I want to fucking turn this off that just annoyed yeah. me there 
That's fair. Which well, is I mean, busy. that is us out past an hour, so I think we'll wrap it up on having covered all of Gamescom. Yep. <laughs> all right, and I'll trade them again. It was good. <laughs> yeah, well, they happen when we get a whole lot of stuff to talk about, don't they? Yep. Pretty much. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye. See ya.